All right, so Fragile by Sting. This is from his 1987 album, Nothing Like the Sun. And uh, this is just such a great song. And, you know, Sting is just one of those super talented guys. Uh, fantastic singer, um, one of the greatest bass players, and one of the greatest songwriters. But this song also shows his guitar playing skills. Uh, this is a great part, really, really well put together and beautifully played. Of course, he does it on a nylon string guitar, but I'm playing it on my Taylor here. And I kind of like the sound of it on the steel string as well, right? So let's get into it. We're in the key of E minor, and the whole thing is played with the sixths right there. And it's all on the D and the B string with the thumb playing various bass notes. Okay, so the reason they call that a six is the second note on the B string is six notes away from the note on the D string. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what we've got then is we've got uh, six patterns, and five of them are the same, just on different frets. We've got the first one on the 12th fret, D and G, or sorry, D and B, down two frets. Now this one, which is um, D9 and B8, it's the only one that's different. And then seven, five, four. So one, two, three, four, five. Those five are the same. The only one that's different is that one. And you know, you, you can play that with different fingers. I'll show you how I did it as we get through this. Um, so it starts like this. That's your first pattern. The first time we hit it, we're gonna use all three fingers. So thumb on the low E, first finger on the D, third finger on the B. And we only use three fingers like once or twice in the main parts until we get to what's behind the solo and then it, it changes up a little bit and then we slide down two frets and we're going to go thumb thumb and this is how sting does it he goes thumb thumb and then down to this shape and both the d and the b and then the b on its own up here, same thing, both in the B on its own. One more time. Now, you could play it with just your fingers, and that would be perfectly fine. You're going to get a little bit different sound, a little more brassy sound. If you use your thumb on that D string, it's a little more mellow. Now, the next pattern is going to be here. We're going to hit that A string, and then we're going to go D and G, or D and B. together and you see how I played that right there I, I cut off the A string we really want to leave that A string ringing That's a lot better than if you cut it off. Now the last pattern is we're just gonna bar here, and this is why I play this pattern like this. Like when you watch Sting, he'll he'll bar. You know, or I think he goes like that. Um, but I like to get that one with my third and second finger, just because this next part is just bang. You just put down that bar with your first finger, and you've got it. got the B note on the 7th fret, 
So it's low and then the B or the D and the B. And that's just a bar reinforced with my second finger. This program has no bass tone, and it's just both B, both B. And then we're going to finish it off by going. All right, so the whole thing real slow. Okay, and then that whole thing repeats, but the only thing that's different is the ending. So instead of going, we're gonna go. So, we're gonna put a little finger up here on the eighth fret of the B. So let's play both those cycles all the way through. Okay, but I sort of <laughs> forgot the, the little bit in between, so. And that's that, right? So it's just the B string, low E, and then both. Da, da, da. So. And that is it for all the verses. Now, going in the chorus, we're gonna do this formation which is, it's those two, but we're gonna fret them with the third and little finger. So we're gonna bar there, so we're getting that C note. And we're gonna use all three fingers here. Well, <laughs> thumb and two fingers. So, thumb, finger, and we're gonna let it get that little finger off and just get that note there, um, the, the G note on the eighth fret, so. And then we're gonna. So. Actually, it's, it's just that note alone going down. Like on the record, it sounds more like he's going. But I kind of threw in the first time, a little arpeggio. And then the single note, and then. So the chorus. Yeah. 
going to repeat the chorus. We're throwing that in there. So at the end of the chorus is... That chord there, like whatever you do, you don't want to don't want to hit that note because you're gonna kill the vibe there. Right? Now, if you watch Sting play it, he'll actually fret that note there. He'll do it like an F major seven over C, but he doesn't play that G note with the G string. I think he's just fretting that in case he does because you can handle that a lot better than. Right, that's just that note is gonna kill the whole vibe of it. So, but I didn't do that. I just went like that. And now we're going to go into the solo, but behind the solo, the rhythm kind of changes up a little bit. And, I mean, you know, it's Sting playing the solo, and I'm pretty sure it's Dominic Miller playing the rhythm behind it, and that kind of changes. So instead of going... Right, it's going to be... And this is all going to be played with the first finger and the third finger and the thumb. Fret that E note on the ninth fret of the G. It's very like more rhythmic. Last time it does that, we go. The last time, like coming out of the solo. Like so. And then we're Now the ending goes like this. So a little more rhythmic, and then the second time, three fingers, it's like a D over an E. C over knee. Back up and then and that's how it ends. So it's kind of cool how he, he's throwing, you know, the whole song is these. These six, but in the end, he actually makes it a triad, like a full D chord. C chord over an E. And then it just kind of stops. 
And I got this ending from his live performance that he did uh, just this year, actually, 2021. And there'll be a link to that on my website. And then it ends. Okay, so that's it for all the rhythm stuff. There's a lot there because, you know, there's a lot of little subtleties going on in that part. All right, so now let's do the lead. So the lead's going to start like this. So we're in E minor, which means it's the same notes as G major, right? So we're going to start here on the fifth fret, and we're seven, five of the E. Just seven, eight, ten, and then we'll slide down from seven to five. Then. The, I can't really call every fret here because they're all right here. And then we're going to go. So nice. Such great guitar playing. This This run is... Seven, eight, five, seven, eight. Then ten, seven, eight. And then we're here ten on the B, back to seven on the E. Then, and we're shifting positions here. So that's 8, 10, 12, a little extra note there. Uh -huh. 12 on the B, 12 on the E, 14, 15, back to the 12. I love that part there, because it's like on the, on the B7, right? And this, that note is, is um, it's the major seventh. You know, an E minor scale. It's got the minor seven, but that's got the major seven. And that sort of ties in with the harmonic minor scale, where, you know, the seventh is major. And that is it there. And then we're finish off with and then I just love that lick so that's real slow It's not the notes, you know, it's the timing. <clears throat> These licks have really, um, it's not rock and roll, right? It's really sort of Latin flavor. Finish it off, we're gonna go. Get these octaves there. And it's just D string on the seventh and the E string on the fifth octave, right? And, and I'm kind of going D string, then E string. And sliding down two frets, and then sliding down another fret, 
And then the last lick is. <laughs> That's just beautiful guitar playing. Really, really like the solo. It took me a while to learn this one just because the timing is so, uh, it's just different from what I used to, right? So let's do that whole solo. That's it for the solo and that's it for the song. Like I said, I just really love this song and I just think it's great songwriting, not only musically, but lyrically, obviously, and great guitar playing. And even without all the, you know, the lush keyboards and uh, all that ethereal sort of stuff that's going on, um, I think stripped down just with uh, the guitar part and a bit of percussion, I think it really um, brings home the greatness of the song, you know? What do they say about great songs? You can play them any way you want. You know, any version with a great song, it'll always be a great song. Anyways, I hope you get something out of this lesson. I hope it helps you to, uh, to learn the song. And I hope you enjoy playing it. And we'll talk to you next time.